Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where we are in not so sunny, not so honestly very nice. Freeside. I mean freeside. Sorry, my bad. West side. It's a bit of a shithole. I've never bothered to explore it very much. Mostly because it's kind they of a shithole. So we're gonna leave. <laughs> Immediately. We park the truck here because it's probably safer here than it is anywhere else. But, we are going to head now up to um, Buck's place to see Anna about this shopping list of sorts. And then we're going to go kill Billy Bogan. And then we're going to go on an expedition up to Jacobstown to see if we can do something about Rex's poor brain. That's the plan, anyway. You've discovered Hopewell Apartments. Okay, good. Fine. Don't care. Um... Buck's place, just around the corner here, basically. Now, I suppose I should probably be at least a little bit careful, because we've not been up here in a while, and goodness knows what might have moved in lately. Probably fiends, mostly, I would imagine, but, you know, could be anything, really. Mostly fiends, though. It's just around here, isn't it? Jim's trading post. Oh, I remember this place. This is where they had the guy outside with the squatters and stuff. I think, anyway. Well, maybe not. Caravan here. Caravan here. Caravan here. Stand back, everyone. Let's. There we go. God damn it, there's still one around here somewhere. I don't think this is the place. I think I'm mixing it up with somewhere else. Unless something truly terrible has happened since I was last here. There we go. Probably didn't avoid the copyright strike. Anyway... James Anderson. Rings a bell. Oh boy, this does not look good. Neither does this mysteriously floating dresser. Got it coming. Gut shot. Just waiting to pass out from the blood loss. Ronnie told us it would be a holdup, then we'd split. All the workers got behind him. Since Jim was cutting wages and upping the hours, we'd, we figured it we'd get our fair due since we'd been breaking our backs for that asshole. Ronnie lied to us all. If I'd known what he was, I might have put him down myself. But we were committed. Caught up in the moment. There was no turning back once he sh shot those customers. The Andersons were witnesses. Guess we didn't have a choice. Ronnie had a look in his eyes. When we took them upstairs like he was getting a birthday present or something, we were scared shitless and he, and he was acting like it was a fucking party. <laughs> what a coward I've been. I ran from my girl, all my responsibilities. Thought I'd strike it rich here. Got caught up with that sick fuck. Just nodded my head and did what he said. Break Jim's kneecaps, he said. I took to the boss with that slugger, no questions asked. He begged for his wife and children, even after the bones started breaking. He never tried to save himself. We held him down, made him watch as Ronnie did the girls. We figured he was so busted from the bat that he'd stay down. I didn't notice till he pressed that Dillinger against my stomach. Then I heard the pop. Ronnie finished him with the shovel and just laughed at me when I started screaming. They took turns with the females, then slit their throats. They left me here, all of them too scared to second-guess Ronnie. They said they were taking the little one east 
Gonna sell him to the Vipers, I guess. Robert got away after they wounded him outside. I didn't see it go down. It's strange, the blood loss. I feel light, empty, fading. I got it coming. Obviously what happened here is terrible. I'm just really bothered by the fact that I can't remember whether or not these are the people I ran into. They wanted to set up some sort of place around here somewhere, didn't they? What the heck? And then there were a bunch of squatters who I think I remember convincing Ant Refuge Pile. This is getting stranger and stranger. Um... I remember convincing to work for the guy. I just... I don't know if this is the same place. I hope it's not, and I hope that whatever happened here I am not responsible for. I'm going to have to... no-clip my way out of that. Um... Well, I mean, either way... Oh, God, no, not up here. Either way, uh... It's a pretty fucking grim business. Is there any further evidence of what happened here? Something I can use to figure out what the hell... Who the hell these people were? My memory is not brilliant. It's pretty shockingly bad, as a matter of fact. Well, it did say something about them going east with presumably a child. Oh, hello. My reminders. To do. Buy more cleaning supplies, buy antibiotics for Brahmin, hire a guard, sign a trade agreement with Westside. Also speak with NCR about Ronnie, see if they have any background information. He keeps bitching about wages blowing up when I tell him to go to get on task. I wonder if he's ever had an honest job in his life. Uh oh. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, should have just shot the squatters. Should have just shot the. I'm gonna learn from this. Clearly, the moral of this tale was you should have shot them in the first place. God damn it! Won't make that mistake again. They went east. We were taking the little one east and the son to the Vipers. I guess Robert got away after they wounded him outside. Didn't see it go down. If I were a raiding asshole that wanted to sell a child to the Vipers, where would I go? I don't really know where the Vipers hang out, to be honest, so... A lot of uncharted territory out here. Well, shit. Put it to the back of your mind for now, Crumplington. You've got other things to deal with. Like this loading screen, for example, which seems to be taking a strangely long time. There we go. Anna, please. Oh, for God's sake, where are you? Oops. I really am not in the mood for any more bullshit today. There you are. Tell me you've just got the goddamn list. Howdy. Steve said you needed this estimate. He also said you have a list of the supplies you ordered. Okay, sure. But there's just one thing. No, 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 no. I had no. to shell out 2,500 caps to get this shipment sent. The list you brought should help me get the contract finalized. But since we didn't have a contract signed, they wouldn't send the first delivery without a cash deposit up front. That left me broke, so I'll need you to reimburse me for my deposit. Uh, 
Didn't Steve mention cutting you, cutting you in on the action because you've helped out so much? Yes, but what does that have to do with anything? The sooner I get that list back to Steve, the sooner we all start making some money. I'm listening. You'll make your money back in no time and a whole lot more, but no list, no money for any of us. Okay, I suppose you're right. Here's the list, and tell Steve he better not forget about this. Ugh. Chill out, bad motherfucker. It's fine. Alright, well, at least I managed to wrangle myself out of that one. Ugh. Right. Let's go and kill some assholes. Billy Bogan, where are you at? You have met... You're going to meet me on possibly the worst possible day you ever could meet me. My dear chap, you are so thoroughly fucked, you have no idea what's coming for you. I have some frustration I need to vent, and you are the perfect object of that venting. What do I have on me weapons-wise right now? I'm in a sort of overkill kind of a mood. Uh, plasma grenade, that's fun. Guess there's always the, uh, the AER-14 on full death ray mode. I could also just let rip with this on full automatic. Oh, hello. Fiends? You don't look like Billy Bogan. Less assholes in the world to deal with. Jackal gang member, alright. Jackals, not vipers. Close but no cigar. Uh, scotch. Yeah, it's a scotch kind of a day, isn't it, really? Is that a Brahmin steak? I'll have that. Get you open. Oh, come on. So close. There we go. Simpack. Uh, right away. Trivide water. Right. So. Billy, where are you? Are they in this in this house here? I would not be surprised. Not. No, they're this. Oh, hello. Gentlemen, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, bits of bogan everywhere. Oh, sorry, no. Bits of bogan's henchmen. I'm presuming this is bogan, yeah. All right, Billy, I'll be with you in a moment. Just want to make sure your shack doesn't have a bunch more gang members waiting inside, but it doesn't look like it. Can't even get in. It's a bit of a crap shack, Billy. You've, you've got to nail the door shut. That's not how it works. Just take those, and I'll just take that, and I think we'll just go ahead and make sure you're definitely dead. I've been having some issues with that lately, Billy. It's nothing personal, but I've killed a couple of things and it turned out not to be dead lately. So, right, okay. Billy dealt with officially. This gun does look badass, especially with the scope on it. Alright, well. 
I suppose next on the agenda would be Jacobstown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, return to Steve. Return to other Steve. And to the underground. Silver Rush, Crimson Caravan, yeah, 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 whatever. Pulse Gun, Nellis Air Force Base, blah, blah, blah. Um, Rex, Dr. Henry. Yes, Dr. Henry all the way up there on that there mountain. All right, all right. And woe betide anything that gets in my fucking way. Like you guys, for instance. Eyes open, people. We're in a slightly... Wilder bit of the Wild West at the moment. There's usually something lurking around out here that wants you dead. How am I? How are my needs doing? Oh, they're, they're good. Yeah, we're not hungry or thirsty or anything. Any of the above. Nobody home there. Or if they are, then they're hiding, like sensible people. I don't remember this power station. I mean, presumably it was here the entire time, but I just don't remember it for some reason. Mm, okay, whatever. Anything, anything interesting in there? Not especially. Probably just radiation, I would imagine. If there's anyone hiding behind that sign, that's what people seem to like to do around here. I should just get... Oh, Cazadors. Oh, God. And a really big Cazador as well. It's like a queen or something. Actually, there's m m multiples. Oh, dear. This is like minigun slash gatling laser slash rocket launcher territory. This is this is like not good at all. Alright guys. Time to do the world a favor. Oh god. Attack of the crazy hitboxes. Alright, maybe they just tank quite a few bullets. Next time I get the opportunity, I might consider investing in that shit. Bug stomping perk. There's you. At least I think these are Cazadors. It's difficult to tell, honestly. There's a lot more varieties of giant insect wandering about the place these days. Either way, they definitely deserve to be killed with fire. No argument there. Hive Queen. So that's what I was shooting at. Anything named Hive Queen probably deserves to die, let's be honest. Black Wasp. That sounds just as fucking nasty as Cazador's, if you, if you ask me. I am glad I had several football fields between me and them when I started this. <laughs> Little shits don't even have anything worth picking up on them. Oh, fucking. Let's start this dance. Oh, God, there's loads of them. Come on, die. Piece of shit. Frenzied, apparently. God, a rocket launcher actually would have been a good idea. 
All of that ammo. I'm not going to get back. Oh, you disgusting creatures. All right, let's move away from here. Some sort of building up there. And a cave? Could this be where they're coming from? Oh dear. Mushrooms and green blood caves. No, 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 th no, thank you. No, no. I don't like the look of any of this. It, in my experience, so far, all the nasty stuff, the really nasty stuff, likes to stick to the mountain ranges. We are possibly getting into a world of shit right now, folks. Followers safe house. Requires a key. Oh. oh I forgot to bring my shovel again. It was right there on the side in the house as well. It was right next to Woolpay's bloody Incolter's hat. And I forgot to pick it up. Ugh. Pacing Kulta. What a load of nonsense. Uh, well, moving on, I suppose. There should be a road leading up here somewhere. I think this might be it over here, actually. This is gotta be it. Alright. Alright. Don't know what's waiting up here for us, so. Yes. Be careful. And carry a big bird. Where? Rex? Rex, where have you. If you could see my face right now. There you are. I was gonna... You're the whole reason we're coming here, dude. Come on, you silly dog. Oof, you're not in the best of health right now, are you? Well, weird visual effects, not good. Anyway, he's full health now, that's fine. What about you? You're good. All right. I don't like going around corners. Corners are bad, okay? Bad. Always things hiding behind them. Always. No, oh, I see what's going on here. You're lulling me into a false sense of security. Then you'll unleash the death claws. Oh boy. You know what, in hindsight, bringing the anti-material rifle would have been an absolutely brilliant idea. But no, I didn't have the foresight. I don't know what I expected. A casual jaunt up a hillside? Oh, big horners. Wild big horners. Probably ought to leave them alone. I'd kill them and take their meat if it weren't for the fact that... Oh god, here we go. 
I don't think I can actually cook a big corner steak. Might as well take it anyway, I suppose. I don't know. rounds right now. Ruby Hill Mine. No. Just no. No thank you. Excuse me, moi, but no mercy. Let's start this. got to be worth something to someone, I suppose. There's a lot of them about. I <laughs> Just casually culling the entire big corner population. There's a Brahmin over there, a Pratt Brahmin. Stand by. Let me get a look at that. Or... I thought it was a Pack Brahmin. It's just a regular Brahmin in a bush. Radhorn. That's a bit different. Ramen bull. More trees. I guess we're getting to those higher elevations that uh, that Russell was talking about a while ago. Back the fuck up, guys. Back the fuck up. Extremely quickly. 